Hi, this is JPEG the Raw Quick Tips, and today we're going to go over how to GPS tag your DSLR images using an Android app called GPS Logger. Uh, and for this tutorial, I am in Lightroom 4, which they added the mapping module to this, and I'm also on a PC, so some of these menus may be different if you're on a Mac. First thing we're going to do is we're going to import the images, and uh, by the way, I'm in a catalog I created just now, so there's no other images in it, pretty clean catalog. I'm not going to worry about any of the, the keywording or file name or anything like that because these images are going to be tagged with GPS tagging and they're only for location scouting uh, and for this, this tutorial actually. So I'm going to go ahead and import these images. All right, they're all imported. And before I went out on the trip, I had to make sure that my phone and my DSLR had the exact same time. That is critical that the, the timing on the DSLR and the phone be the same. Uh, not just the minutes, the seconds too. So I had to make sure that while I was watching the phone and it switched to a new minute, that that's when I changed my time of my camera so that the two of them are in sync. So now that I've got the all the images loaded here, I'm going to highlight all of them. Uh, actually, let's go over to the mapping module just so we can see this happen. I'm going to come up to map in the menu, go to track log, and I'm going to say load track log. Now you may be wondering, okay, how did I get this data? How did I get the track log data? In the Android app, the GPS logger, there is a setting to have it upload the Dropbox. You can have it upload uh, to several different places, but Dropbox is the one I'm using. So it is uploading there whenever I'm done uh, with, when I tell it to stop, it will upload there. Later, maybe I can do a tutorial on how to use it. But here you can see is the, the, the screenshot from my phone. Uh, allow auto sending. You turn on, send a zip file, and down here is the Dropbox. And I've already authorized it with drop, Dropbox and done all that. You can also send it to Google Docs, or you can have it email you if you want to. I find it easier just to use Dropbox. I have it send me the data only whenever it's done. So when I press stop, that's when it will upload the stuff to my Dropbox. Um, and then it's pretty easy. The, the, the app itself is pretty easy. You just hit a button to say stop logging. Once it's running and start that same spot, start logging whenever you want to do it. And it is logging on your GPS data as you go drive along. Uh, it, it will need to be outside so I can see a satellite. All right, so I'm going to load this data. And now you can see it shows me everywhere I drove around. But as you can see right now, none of the images are actually tagged. Just the driving around is tagged. And I took some crazy routes, I guess. So now we, I've highlighted, actually, I'm going to highlight all the images. I'll highlight them again. Highlight all the images. I'm going to come back up to map, go back to track log, and I'm going to say auto tag nine selected photos. So however many you had, it would, it would change that. Now it has tagged each one of these images with the GPS data. If I go, let's, let's zoom in. Zoom in a little more. Zoom into this one. Because one of the things I noticed with this is um, it's not exactly accurate. And this could be a setting in the GPS logger program, or maybe I made some other mistake. I'll need to troubleshoot that. But this image, you can't tell much from there. But, but as the photographer, I know exactly where it was. Um, and this gives me a hint on, on where that is. And I know that I was right over here. just this photo because yeah, I still have all these highlighted that's why I did that so we come back to only showing the one um, that's simple enough you can move around if you took a whole bunch of them this may be a pain I also know that these two were taken at the exact same location so you see you can move them around real easily the the GPS logger the GPS locations are not extremely accurate as you can see I did not drive through this building over here into this uh, I don't know what that is. I guess that's sidewalk. I did not take those those exact routes. 
but it's close enough. It gives me a hint, and it lets me know where I shot. But some of them are way off. Like that one, I was not up into the trees. I was really down here. So that's it. It, it gives you some information. Uh, later on, you can go back uh, the, and, and find these locations by using this GPS data. Uh, hope you enjoy it, and I will put in the show notes a link to where you can go and get this GPS logger software for your Android phone. And I'm sure there is some other software out there for iPhone also that would do the same thing.